well good afternoon and we're back for our second live video of the day today it is wednesday the 19th of april my name is jenny mccormack and i am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of brackley and I normally go live four days a week, Monday through to Thursday, with some live crafting. And I did that this morning. And it was requested that I do an unboxing of my new products for our new annual catalogue. So this is the brand new annual catalogue that I received actually in the box um, this morning. Hi, Scott. Now, I put a ribbon around it to stop me from opening it because I'm not allowed to show you the contents of the catalogue online until it goes live in May and it's so tempting just to sort of flick through or have a look so I have to put a ribbon around it and a little bit of tape to stop me from doing that without thinking about it <laughs> so that's um, the reason for that but I can show you some of the new products hi um, Scott, Catherine, Diane and anybody else who has joined us so what I'm going to do is go through some of my pre-order items with you in particular I mainly ordered the new colours both in card and ink some new stamp and write markers and a few additional new stamp sets, dies and punch. There was a few embellishments in there and some papers. So I'll go through what I have so far and I'll introduce the new colours. Hi Carol, now I do apologise because I don't know the new colours names. So I have got a sheet off camera with the names which hopefully I'll be able to read and <laughs> display to you at the same time. So this is the catalogue, if you're a cutter of mine you'll get one of these in due course. Let's have a look. So what I do like that Stamping Up do when we have a new set of colours, um, a colour refresh is where they update the entire um, colour range. And what they produce is a pack of card and also a pack of inks that are just the new colours or returning colours. So I have two packs here. This one is the new in colours and these run 2023 to 2025. <laughs> I won't tell Scott. Hi Jeanette. And then these are the new core colours. So these are the introduced new colours. So I'll do the in colours first. Um, I introduced one of those this morning and that's the boho blue that you can see on the front. And I will be running an in colour club for those that are interested. And this is a club where you build up your supplies of new in colours. Um, the ink pad, the blends, the stamp and write marker, the card and um, possibly the ribbon if that's of interest so this is our new in colors now these will run for two years and these go alongside our existing in colors so we have boho blue this lovely oh excellent so catherine's um, box arrived about 20 minutes ago so this is the lovely boho blue now i do know that the video obviously translated colour wise is not going to be exactly accurate well I, what I, I can tell you what I see on my phone what I see on my screen and what I see in person is all slightly different but it will give you a rough idea so this is boho blue nice soft wedgwoody blue this is wild wheat we have moody mauve And then we have, this is the one I can never remember, copper clay and finally pebbled path. So these are the new in colours. They, in comparison to our current ones, they look quite dull, for want of a better description. 
um, but it's all about the trends that you will see coming up over the next year or two years um, and obviously these will be perfect autumnal colours as well so just a reminder we've got pebbled path this is a bit like a darker version of tip top taupe um, this one copper clay have I got that right yes copper clay it's a bit like um oh, Cajun craze if I get Cajun craze out just so you can see so Cajun craze is a much deeper version than that and then we've got moody mauve reminds me a bit of rococo rose Oh, Catherine's just made a card with tip top tape. Wonder how close it is. Um, Moody mauve, and then we've got wild wheat. I love this colour and boho blue. So these are the in colours, and you will um, see these. I've got the in colour ribbon so we've got this ribbon for all of the in colours but I've only bought one colour I buy one or two just to get um, started so this is a nice um, fairly thick ribbon but it's quite soft so it'll make it'll make nice bows as you can see on here and then we have stamp and write markers so these are obviously in the in colours and they're available for all of the new colour range and what's interesting is that we have a new um, a new design so they're basically the same sort of barrel but um, this element is longer I'm just gonna see if I've got one to hand here's one okay so if you can see So the top one is the new one so longer barrel shorter nib but we have new nib design so if I turn these round we have I grab a piece of paper the brush tip let's use this here like so which is the same on both this is what is this oh this is an old one terracotta tile okay so we have the same brush tip but the difference with the new markers is that we have a wider narrow tip bullet tip if I use this one here you can see it doesn't look very much on there but if I put that nib there against that one if you can see hopefully you can see the difference let me bring it up to the screen you have a better chance so the one on the right is the new one the one on the left is the old one hopefully you can see the difference um, and I think it's a great improvement Personally, I found very often that this tip, because there was so little ink at the end, although there was ink in the barrel, the, the tip would um, not have much ink. And so you might have plenty of ink in this side, but there was only a small amount here, even though it's a single barrel right the way through. So I think that will be a great improvement. And if you're wondering, I haven't used Stamp and Write markers for ages, but you can use these for inking up stamps, and you can also use it for selecting a particular area of a stamp. Um, let me just see what I've got to hand that would that would work. This one from earlier on. I just turned this over taken all my bits out to clean but if for example I've got the words here it says thank you for your friendship that I used on our design this morning so what I can do is you can use your brush tip it's a water-based dye ink 
and you can do one colour for example here thank you this is tiny it's not a very good example but never mind thank you for your and then you can chop to a different colour and this says oh friendship not kindness like so so if I stamp that not the best example but thank you for your friendship so this is in pebbled path and then this is in copper clay I have to remember okay so there's lots of things you can do with markers you can buy um, a set of five of the current in colours and the new in colours and then the rest of the markers come in packs of ten with the exception of the neutrals um, and they come in their own little wallet like this you can buy the whole um, set of 40 at a discounted price but um, and I have got the original carrier that takes all of the marker pens in in one go so those are the new marker pens also in our in colors okay right let's get to the other new colors and then some products I'm gonna put these I'm gonna put these back in here to keep them contained Perhaps I'll do that afterwards. <laughs> okay, so these this pack is the new core colours. So I'm going to introduce these to you. And they go in all of the different um, colour families. You'll recognise some of them if you've been with Stamping Up a little while. So this one is a brand new colour. This is lemon lolly and this features in the subtles collection we then have a nice soft baby pink this is called bubble bath and this is also in the subtles this is lemon lime twist which is a returning color so we had this as an in color a little while ago and this is in the Brights collection. We then have Fresh Freesia, which was in the last lot of ink colours but has returned. And that is now in the Subtles. We have a new blue and this is called Azure Afternoon. And that's in the Brights collection. So these are just the new and returning colours, not the actual collections themselves. You may recognise this one. This is Lost Lagoon, a bluey green sort of sea, sea green colour. And that is in our subtles. Goes really nicely with soft sea foam and pool party. Then we have a new colour called Pecan Pie. And um, this reminds me a little bit of Baked Brown Sugar, if you remember that one. Then we have another returning colour, which is Misty Moonlight. This was a very popular colour two, I want to say, three years ago. Part of the in colours at that point. That went along with Magenta Madness and Bumblebee. And I can't think of the others. And also we have Berry Burst. That was another returning in colour. So Misty Moonlight is in the Neutrals collection along with the Knight of Navy. And Berry Burst is in the Brights. Then we have Blueberry Bushel. And that was the colour that I used this morning, the ink. And that is in the Regals. And then finally, another returning colour, which 
is Pretty Peacock. And that is in the Regals as well. So these are returning colours. There. And that's a returning colour. And that one is. So if you've been with Stamping Up a while, you may recognise, look at those two together. They're fabulous, aren't they? That's Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon. And funnily enough, they are the colours in the papers that I'm using for our class in a box. And then these are um, five brand new colours in addition to the five in colours. So, <laughs> I've got it already. Pecan Pie, Azure Afternoon. Oh, this is a returning colour. Lemon Lime Twist, sorry. Bubble Bath, that's a really pretty pink. Love that. And Lemon Lolly, a very soft yellow. Just Jade, you're right. Hi, Babsy. Oh, good, yes. Pecan Pie and Baked Brown Sugar. Yes, I don't have any of that. Hi, Gina. And hi, Michelle. So that's Lemon Lolly. So that's um, the new colours. So I am running a, or I will start running as soon as I'm able to order an in colour club. So details of that will be coming out and also a new colour club. So if you want to build up your supplies of the new colours, um, you can join that. Let's have a look at some of the papers. Um, you will know that this is a Jenny set of papers, especially when you consider the cards that I made this morning. How funny is that? So I was on a blue and white streak this morning. These were the cards. Okay. So this paper is called Countryside Inn. And on all of our papers, whether they're 12 by 12 or whether they're 6 by 6, tell you the colours that are on there. Now, I know you can't read that. That's tiny. I can barely read it. But this is Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. And these are really pretty sets of colours. So, blue and white. So we've got florals here with a white background and then we've got this one which has actually got bunnies on it. Let me bring this up to the screen a bit better. So we've got this one here and then this one, if you look closely, has got little rabbits on it which you may, you may or may not like. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. This one has got um, cute little birds on it. Hello Valerie. Hi Lisa. Oh, this is the one that Babs has ordered. And then we've got this one here. It's really pretty with the white background. And then this one with the navy background and this has got little foxes on so jill if you're watching you will probably like that the rabbits look like a pay oh yes they do and then this one with trees that's really pretty so that's one side and then I'll show you the other side. So this is Countryside Inn. So plainer backgrounds. This one. So this is the one with the bunnies. So if you don't like bunnies, you've got these lovely fine stripes with the boho blue background. And then you've got navy and moonlight stripes. I'm hoping it's not reflecting too much. If I turn that off, does it make it too dark? Let's have a look. Oh, I think we're okay. Right, and then we've got 
more stripes tiny little dots in the middle and then all over pattern the light that's on there is just the light from the window and then this has got tiny flowers I'm not even sure you can see those they are tiny hi Sylvia so that is the countryside inn now this has some stunning dies and a stamp that goes with it and the stamp does lots of different borders and then the dies cut up each of the different layers of borders i haven't got those in my first order you have to watch out for those so that is countryside in so these are 12 by 12 papers obviously as you can see and there's 12 sheets six double-sided designs and two of each I'm going to put those back in so that they're maintained. Okay, now this one is, is a real bit of fun. This is called, let's get the right name of the papers, Zoo Crew. And I know that Funky Little Animals is not everybody's cup of tea. I know that. But... And there is a stamp set that goes with this, needless to say, but I think these papers are really cute. And you could do a lot with these just cutting out with a, a circle, for example, or rectangles, each of these characters. So let me just get these together. So we've got um, foxes on motorbikes, scooters. We've got a crocodile on a bicycle. And we've got an ostrich on roller skates and an aardvark on a I can't think what a unicycle that's it and a rabbit on a scooter there you go only in stamping up world could you find that actually I'm just going to lift that out of the way there we go hopefully you can see that a bit better i want the light but i don't want the reflection that's the thing let's see okay so that's um the first sheet so this is zoo crew and then they're all on one side they're all similar to this so there we've got elephants we've got an armadillo we've got a dog we've got a raccoon with balloons and one a koala bear juggling tea cakes of all things and then we've got uh, a knitting llama a bear that's reading a goat that's cooking and a hedgehog that's painting and a sloth that is um, meditating so what I do like about these is that you've got some coloured in and some uncolored so if you want to you could color those in yourself but you don't have to now we've got um musical animals so we've got um a tortoise doing karaoke we've got a frog playing a flute we've got a bear playing an accordion and what looks like maybe a chipmunk playing the bongo drums and a warthog playing a guitar or something similar might be a banjo or a ukulele and then we've got this one here with um, deer sheep these are all dancing a hippo um, a, a leopard I guess and a cat that's really good fun. Oh, a beaver. Thank you. Oh, yes, it is a beaver. You're right. Quite right. Thank you. And then finally, we've got the camping, the camping crew. So we've got a pig with a backpack here. We've got a lion with a campfire. Um, a squirrel. That would be a squirrel for us here, but it may be something else. 
um, we've got trees and then we've got I'm not sure what that is whether it's just a little baby bear with a net yes <laughs> thank you Lisa <laughs> I knew somebody would be able to um, translate that for me so I'm not quite sure what that is is that a lima with the stripy tail I don't know anyway so a little bit of fun that's one side so they're all white backgrounds with the um, sort of cartoony animals and then on the other side they're all black and white so we've got this one here make sure I go funny don't look at it for too long got this one with little um, star shapes in circles sort of hand drawn zigzags curly things and then white on black so we've got um, black on white even um, little dots little dashes and then some little flowers there we go so that is zoo crew and I think that will be um, you'll either love it or you hate it I'm afraid but that's fine you can't you can't love everything okay I always love the way that when we're doing this as a team when we're looking at the new catalog half the team will go oh wow I love that and then half the team will go I don't get it I just don't get it right this is daisies it's called fresh as a daisy and I have got the matching stamps and dies which I'll show you so this one here can be cut up as you can see um, to make individual cards this one I love in particular and this one but you've also got some scene and some smaller panels here so I'll do one side first and again 12 sheets um, two of each design so this is fresh as a daisy we've got this one here love this and then this one so this is the copper clay background and then this one here with the moody mauve background this is lovely just trying to see what colors they give for this as your afternoon boho blue and pretty peacocks that must be that's picking up the boho blue and a bit of as your afternoon and then this one here so that's one side fresh as a daisy and then the other side are sort of watercolour washes so this is that moody mauve pebbled path these are great for men's cards where you've got just that sort of wash of colour or where you've got um, like the white daisies on there would look stunning and then we've got some pretty peacock in there wild wheat copper clay and boho blue so these very much follow the in colors I put those like that and these in colors so we get them out this one here is fresh as a daisy if you mean the daisy one there we go okay. right and then I've got a couple of the six by six papers and then I'll finally show you the stamp sets so we've got bright and beautiful and this is 48 sheets 
of mixed colours again and I like this, it's got a whole selection of colours and that includes Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, it's this one here, um, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, which is this one, and Pretty Peacock, which is this one here. So great fun. So this is bright and beautiful. So you've got four of those, and I'll show you the other side in a minute. Four of those. This rather reminds me of the desert papers. Four of those. And then we've got the bubble bath stripes in lemon lolly. I'm hoping you can see these okay. It's a bit of a dull day, which doesn't help. Lemon lime twist. And then you've got a bit of pretty peacock. And Lost Lagoon. You see how those go well together. Same with that one. And then Misty Moonlight. This is Azure, um, Azure Afternoon, not Boho Blue. That's really pretty. This one. And then a bit of everything. So that's one side. So these are really versatile set. And then the other side generally have white backings, um, slightly more floral. So we've got this one here, lemon lolly. This one here with the sort of freesia and the move, moody mauve. This one with a bit of everything. Some dots. That's fresh freesia and bubble bath. And then a little panel of dashes. Sort of bokeh dots. That's that one. Little circles. Lemon line twist. Sort of hand drawn little curves. Like so. Oops, maybe. Stars, great for children's cards, men's cards. Little sort of confetti, great for all ages. Stars, and then this one here, the Moody Mauve. So a really nice mix of colours. And that is called Bright and Beautiful. And it has a fun stamp set that goes with it. Let's move that in there. And then we've got our new designer series paper. So you can buy this in the in colours, all of the in colours, and also all of the colour collections. So you can buy, buy this with the brights, the regals, the neutrals, the subtles and the in colours. So there's um, two different designs and then you get some of each colour. So we've got this little sort of dash and dots. And then on the reverse side of that we've got little hearts and stripes. Sort of slightly uneven stripes and you've got those in all of the colors so pebbled path these are the new in colors moody mauve that one that one copper clay And then finally the boho blue. But you can buy these in all the different colourways. So if you join my in colour club, you will get a selection of those in each of the colours. Okay, so that is all of the papers, the card, and the salmon white markers, and that little bit of ribbon that I have so far. 
um, let me show you the stamp sets and we're done I do have some blends pens in the new colours but the pens themselves are the same um, here are some new embellishments these are called adhesive backed solid gems and you've got lemon lolly boho blue and copper clay sorry you probably can't see those particularly well okay so let's have a look i've got two bundles here the first one as you can see is called circle sayings and this will be featuring at a coffee and card near you probably will be the first thing we use at coffee and card when the catalogue goes live and it obviously features circles and it does have a matching circle punch so this is two and three eighths of an inch and we do have two other circle punches um, that would coordinate with this okay so all of our punches have a lock on there and then you pop your card in oh, it's not a full piece but it will do maybe just mm, and punch it out and i always recommend you test your punches as soon as they arrive occasionally you might get a faulty one and it's best to test them sooner rather than later so we've got celebrate sending you a and thinking of you and to go with those you've got warm hello because you're awesome thank you smile so sending you a smile sending you a happy birthday thinking of you today any combination and then you've got a cute little cupcake here a little scene that you could color in shells flowers uh, and a little sort of ray now these um, flowers would be great with the stamp and write markers because you could color the flowers in different colors if you wished so this is a photopolymer stamp set like so and so it's bigger than it looks on here the images are only 85 percent because i was thinking that's very big for that engage brain jenny okay so the idea is that that will fit inside the circle so watch out for that coming to a coffee and card near you beginning of may and then the other set i purchased you can always tell um if it's a jenny set is cheerful daisies of course i had to have those so this matches those pretty daisy papers these ones here and again the images are at 90 percent so they are slightly bigger like so and you've got these two that go together these that go together so you've got an infill and an outline or you could color in the outline you've got some extra flowers a stalk and some leaves some centers and then you've got <laughs> whoops a daisy so sorry wishing you the brightest birthday your friendship means everything and you made my day so that's the stamp set and these are the dies so the dies if you can see this um, I've got this one here that cuts the outline and then there's a separate die that will cut the flower detail so you could have like a yellow background and then a deep orange flower that was part of that I'll be able to get that back in she says <laughs> there we go okay and it's the same for this one and then you've got this one here and this larger outline and then you've got some additional 
foliage and, and leaves here and then you've got this nice little label I like the look of that and then these cut out the um, centres of the flowers and then you've got um, the stalk and the leaf that cut out this stalk and then this leaf here so cheerful daisies this might have to be my first um, class in a box for May only because I like daisies most people like daisies I know not everybody is floral um, and then you've got this really pretty tag here so this might be not promising um, but there we go and I think that is all I had on my first pre-order so as I explained before what I do like to do is order in smaller quantities for my pre-order one just to make sure um, that if it's one big box it doesn't go missing which does occasionally happen um, but also I like that we all like receiving boxes um, and what I will do is I go through our new catalogue and these will be sent out to customers shortly and I'll go through the catalogue and I will pick out stamp sets that are suitable for coffee and card so this one for example here and I will also pick out stamp sets for our um, class in a box and then obviously I will pick out stamp sets or products that I just have to have and love. So I will be buying all the new stamp and write markers um, and using those a little bit more in coffee and card because they're perfect for that. So I hope that's been useful to you. Um, as I say, you can re-watch this. If you joined us part of the way through, you can re-watch from the beginning. So I cover the new in colours the new incoming colours, including some returning colours, and um, a few of the new products and a few of the papers. These are um, limited items that were available to pre-order. So one of the benefits of being a demonstrator is when we get a new catalogue, you get a month before the catalogue goes live to pre-order a selection. And stamping up, pick out a selection that we can order this catalogue goes live on, I want to say the 2nd of May, yeah, 2nd of May through to the end of April next year. So I um, do hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. So two visits from me today, that's more than enough. I will be back tomorrow, Thursday at 7pm for another session of our retiring products so grab those before they go don't forget today is free shipping for any order over um, 60 pounds so if you're a demonstrator you can take advantage of pre-ordering and getting free courier delivery and if you're a customer and you want to stock up on cardstock or retiring items ink pads anything that um, we do have a price increase coming for some of the general consumables so cardstock um, papers obviously retiring anyway but inks and the like are increasing so if there's any you want that are still going to be available or if they're retiring and you want them then do grab those and take advantage of free delivery if your order is large enough if you're local to me just um, send me your order and I can get that placed for you I'm going to take that light off and um, I've got a bit of a shadow thing going on here because I've stacked stuff up on the right hand side so apologies for that right I've spoken far too long um, thank you so much everybody thanks Jeanette and Barbara um, I can't remember who it was that suggested I do an unboxing but it, I think it was Jeanette maybe so thank you for that suggestion because I don't normally um, but I hope that's been useful for you to see some of the new products that are coming up in May 
thank you so much everybody do take care um for my team members that are online we have a an online team meeting this evening with a make and take and i'll be showing um actually using some of the products as well so i hope you're able to join me and in the meantime enjoy the rest of your day morning afternoon or evening depending on where and when you're watching Thank you so much for your time and your support and I look forward to crafting with you really soon. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.